Losing stubborn belly fat is always a challenge, especially as we age. And one of the most stubborn areas in the body is the lower back, commonly known as the love handles. This is because the body simply resists letting go of fat in this area unless we force the body to do so. In this video, we'll cover seven tips to lose your love handles permanently, no matter your age. Not only are these tips simple and practical, but they're backed by science and proven to work. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Tip number one, make simple diet adjustments. In order to lose weight, you need to establish a calorie deficit. To accomplish this, you must be burning more calories than you're consuming. So whether you're vegan, vegetarian, paleo, or keto, what really matters is that you're in a negative energy balance. The problem is, tracking and weighing our food daily is not always practical. So rather than measuring every single piece of food you put in your mouth and plugging it into an app on your phone, here are a few simple adjustments you can make to help you achieve that necessary calorie deficit. Number one, push your first meal back as far as possible, also known as intermittent fasting. While there isn't anything inherently magical about skipping breakfast, decreasing your feeding window is probably the simplest way to reduce your calorie intake without making any major changes to your diet. Number two, fill half your plate with vegetables. The other half of the plate should consist of one fourth lean protein and one fourth carbs. Loading up on this many vegetables not only helps fill you up and keep you full for a prolonged period of time, but it does so with virtually no additional calories. On top of that, the high protein intake not only helps to build muscle, but it's also been shown to increase satiety and lead to overall healthier eating. And number three, replace any liquid calories, be it juice or soda, with water. If you're currently consuming 300 to 500 calories from juice or soda, that simple adjustment could be all you need to take you from maintenance calories to a small deficit. With all that said, if you do have the time and energy to weigh, log, and track every meal, that's certainly a viable option. But if you're busy with work and family and don't have the time to measure every item of food down to the gram, these simple diet adjustments will be more than enough to get the scale moving in the right direction. Tip number two, find an active hobby. Let's face it, outside of lifting weights, the gym can get pretty boring. So if you're anything like me and you're not a fan of walking, jogging, or running on a treadmill, then it's time to explore your options. For me, the solution was Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. According to studies, the average grappler can burn between 250 and 1000 calories per hour of training. And if wrestling around with sweaty men and getting choked isn't your thing, then you may want to consider cycling, indoor soccer, boxing, hot yoga, or hiking. The key is to find something that you actually enjoy so it feels less like exercise and more like a hobby. Tip number three, set a daily step goal. Unfortunately, many of us become increasingly sedentary as we age, drastically reducing our energy expenditure, making it far more difficult to lose weight. By setting a daily step goal, however, you'll become more aware of how much or how little you're moving. So if you've been rolling out of bed, driving to work, sitting at a desk for eight hours, driving home and sitting on the couch, your step count may be as low as two to 3,000. Now, if you made the conscious effort to reach at least 10,000 steps per day, that alone could be more than enough to reach your fat loss goals and get rid of those stubborn love handles. And while it may sound like a lot of walking, a few simple adjustments and some creativity will make reaching this goal a breeze. For example, do your best to take the steps instead of the elevator, purposely park your car a bit further, take short walks after each meal, or even consider using a standing desk to work from. Tip number four, focus on compound lifts. 
Muscle is metabolically active tissue that requires energy to maintain, whereas fat tissue is not. In other words, the more muscle you have, the easier it becomes to lose fat or stay lean. And what better way to build muscle mass than compound movements that target multiple muscle groups at the same time? As you can imagine, a deadlift will burn significantly more calories during and after your workout than a bicep curl while also targeting various muscle groups rather than just one. Another indirect benefit to consider is this. If your back and shoulders are wide, your love handles become less apparent. In other words, even if you do carry a bit of fat in certain areas, having a bit of muscle in the right places can make a huge visual impact on your physique. Tip number five, high intensity interval training. Traditional cardio has been shown to cause a cardio interference effect. One study divided participants into three groups, a strength group that included lifting weights, an endurance group doing cardio, and a strength and endurance group that did both. They concluded that simultaneously training for strength and endurance will result in a reduced capacity to develop strength. In other words, doing cardio limits your resistance training workouts. Further research confirms that you simply won't gain as much muscle if you do too much cardio. The cardio we're referring to here, however, is high intensity interval training, which according to studies has been shown to be just as effective as steady state cardio at burning calories, but also far more time efficient. So if you wanna burn the same amount of calories in a fraction of the time without hindering your ability to build muscle, here's the HIT routine I recommend. Start by performing as many burpees as possible for 30 seconds, immediately followed by 10 reps of hanging leg raises to target the lower abs. Rest for 60 seconds and repeat. Another combination would be as follows. Perform 15 jump squats, followed by 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Rest for 30 to 60 seconds and then repeat. Perform these circuits for six to 10 rounds and gradually work your way up from there. Doing rounds like this will not only develop your core and your conditioning, but it'll burn a ton of calories, making it far easier to reach that calorie deficit without doing hours of cardio each week. Tip number six, hire an expert. One 2009 study published in the Journal of Sports Medicine and Physical Fitness found that supervised exercise under a qualified fitness instructor leads to larger decreases in body weight than unsupervised. The difference in weight loss was almost 12 pounds in just four months. That could be the difference between losing a few pounds and finally shedding those unwanted love handles. So if you're a man in your 40s, 50s, 60s, or beyond, who's tired of spinning their wheels, spending countless of hours in the gym to no avail, then I'd love to work with you. Over the years, I've helped thousands of men just like you to get in the best shape of their life by burning fat, gaining muscle, and optimizing their hormones. Now, as you can imagine, I can only take a handful of clients, so I'm looking for serious individuals only. That said, I've linked a short information page below where you can get more details about how this all works and fill out the application form to see if we'd be a good fit to work together. So if that's you and you're ready to take action and finally achieve the results you know are possible, then click the link below, fill out this short application form, and let's get started. And tip number seven, weigh yourself daily. Your weight will fluctuate on a daily basis due to a number of factors. For example, you may have drank a bit more water, consumed more sodium, had your last meal a bit later, or simply gotten less sleep. This is why weighing yourself once per week is not ideal. You see, if you weigh yourself today and the scale reads 175 pounds, and then you wait to weigh yourself again in seven days, the number you get won't tell you much. Instead, you should be weighing yourself daily under the same circumstances and then getting an average at the end of the week. If the average is going up, this means you're in a calorie surplus and should either reduce your calorie intake or increase your physical activity. If the average remains the same, this means you're at maintenance. And again, if the goal is fat loss, you'll want to eat a little less or move a little more. 
If, however, the average is going down, this means you're in a calorie deficit. In this case, I recommend keeping things the same as you continue to track your weight daily. Once the average has stalled, then and only then you'll want to make the necessary adjustments to ensure you're back on track. So there you have it. Seven simple tips to lose your love handles permanently, regardless of your age. And remember, as long as you're in a calorie deficit and losing weight week after week, it's only a matter of time before those stubborn love handles disappear. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.